In 2010, we started the Incredible Teddy Foundation. After Teddy was born with a diagnosis of congenital diaphragmatic hernia, or CDH, as we call it for short. CDH is typically described as um, in utero and development, uh, the baby as a whole in their diaphragm, and so their, their lower organs actually move up into the chest cavity. And genital just means born with it. Hernia, hernia is a hole, and it's a, a, a hole in the diaphragm, which is the muscle that separates the chest from the abdomen. And as a result of that hole, which, which occurs because the diaphragm doesn't form correctly, um, the intestines are allowed to go up into the chest before the lungs develop. Um, my water broke in the middle of the night and we drove about 30 miles down to Albany Medical Center. And um, he was delivered there just before, I think, six in the morning. Right away, they could tell, the doctors could tell that something was not right with Teddy. Um, he turned blue, he couldn't breathe. Um, the doctors had to start working on him right away to keep him alive. Fortunately, they said, we are probably not gonna be able to save him here. We need to think about transporting him. Once Teddy got here, we went through all the usual maneuvers we did. They'd already put a breathing tube in, they already had IVs in. We got him up into our ICU. So the team came on, everybody did their thing. And, uh, and Teddy went through this whole range of uh, treatments uh, and ultimately uh, made it. But it was, not a, it was not a short course, as they will tell you. And he got a shorter course than many, and that short course was months. You're a good pal, buddy. I know. I, I love you. I remember the first day that I arrived in Boston, the doctors telling me, you need to plan to stay here for a few months. And I was shocked. I had no idea what they were talking about. I thought maybe we were going to be there for a couple of weeks, have a surgery, and come home. And um, when they said that to me, I was totally shocked. We had to figure out how to manage an almost two-year-old little girl in Boston, a town that we had never spent really any time in. We began a process of trying to figure out where we were going to set up shop while he was rehabilitating in the hospital. We checked out the patient family housing program at Boston Children's Hospital. They had a couple of houses in and around um, the Boston area. The Yaki Family Inn is a little under a mile away from the hospital, so it was definitely walkable. It became sort of a, an oasis because it was so cheerful and welcoming. We sat down and we started to think about, well, how can we, how can we help and how, we, how can we give back? And housing jumped out. A place to stay would jump out. And that's, that's been a very strong focal point for us and a cornerstone of, of the Incredible Teddy Foundation. I am the mom of Kellen. He was born with right side CDH and he's currently three. I am an active board member for the Incredible Teddy Foundation. Um, also, I did need to use um, one of the wonderful grants from the Incredible Teddy Foundation when we started our journey with Kellen. Um, we did have, um, I have four other girls at home, so we still had to pay bills at home, still had to pay for the things that we had out in Boston. You know, as they say, nothing life's free, so they helped us with a grant that was very generous, and I just feel like I need to help and do more for the foundation myself because it's just so amazing the things that the Lodi Co's are doing.
It was probably a few months after we got home with Teddy that we decided to start the Incredible Teddy Foundation. And then um, a couple of years later, it dawned on me that what I would really, really like to do is to help families in a meaningful way. And so we established um, Teddy's Home Away From Home Fund um, so that families that are in Boston that are there for treatment for CDH would not have to pay for their stay at the Yaki Family Inn. I think that the foundation, by focusing part of their support on this idea of supporting families while their child is here with this condition is, uh, is insightful. Thank you everyone for coming to Incredible Kids Day. My name is Teddy. All, all of your donations help babies like me who are born with CDH. We appreciate all of your support. We hope you have lots of fun today. Thank you. So the work that we do is not possible without the help of everybody that's been there for us since the beginning and then for everybody who we've yet to meet. And so people like you who are listening today and friends tomorrow, we need your help. We need your help to help kids like Teddy and to help families that are going through a really, really difficult time. If you'd like to learn more, Please check us out. You can see us at www.incredibleteddyfoundation.org. We're not going to be able to succeed without folks like yourselves. Thank you.